Hey everybody. It's just us on a Sunday. It's loud. Everybody's doing everything except what they're supposed to be doing in this house. So I don't want nobody on this video trying to add the input. I'm just showing them what we do on Sunday. So don't try to do nothing out of the ordinary. I've just got some ham hocks in this pot. And some neck bones, a bunch of neck bones. And I'm fixing to cook up. And uh, hopefully get things going in here. I was up early this morning trying to clean up. And uh, but my day got kind of interrupted because I didn't realize that my children's room was such a disaster. So we had to get that cleaned up. Bunch of clothes washing. I got the dishwasher going, the washing machine going. So it's and the kids are going, so it's loud. But that's just the way it is. And so I was gonna pressure can these neck bones and the ham hocks, but I'm just like, man, forget it. I don't feel like doing all that today. Because I have to pressure can some mushrooms. I got a bunch of mushrooms that I need to pressure can. But what I do have to pressure can is this last big old, what is this? Shoulder picnic roast thing. Since I'm not, uh, y'all gone, I don't quit acting a fool. Since I'm not, uh, I don't feel like cooking it because I'm already cooking these neck bones and all this kind of stuff in these ham hocks. I'm gonna try something different with these neck bones and ham hocks. Where's my stuff? What did I do with it? Where is it? Where is it, y'all? Oh, right here. This onion mushroom soup mix. I'm just putting it in here with some garlic and call it like that a day. Because it's Sunday and I got a lot to do and I'm, I don't feel like doing a bunch of um, extra. So I hope and pray it comes out all right. We're going to eat it regardless. How about that? So. I got a lot of ham hocks and neck bones in there, so I'm putting three of these packages in there. And some garlic cloves. It's my garlic. It's the garlic. I'm just gonna put a whole, this whole thing in there. It's a lot of garlic, but I like it and it's good for you. So. Farrah, are you studying your words? I got a daughter that's in a spelling bee on Thursday. She's supposed to be studying her work. Bird, get one of the twins coming and get this trash. This trash is overflowing. This is ridiculous. Get this trash. So, you know what? I'm going to use, I just thought about something. Um, I might go ahead on and just cook this shoulder because I have, um, let me show y'all what I got. Hold on. I was fussing at my daughter. She's in the pantry eating peanut butter and apples. I don't mind the peanut butter and apples, just not in the pantry. I got two of these. Roasted garlic and herb injectables. I'm going to go ahead on and inject that roast and cook it up. That way I don't want to worry about doing nothing. But the only thing I have to can today with my pressure canner is the mushrooms. And I'm going to um, water bath can. Oh, I can't open the dog on garlic. So my my class's full name is Roman. Oh, that's free. I'm a water bath can. Some blackberries. And some spiced apple rings. But I'll do that after a while. Sometime. Because that ain't gonna take but freaking ten minutes. Right now I'm just trying to open this garlic. In this garden. So, mm. okay, there it goes. Oh Lord, garlic was fighting. Lord Jesus. Evangeline, are you still in that pantry? Okay, you need to learn to turn the light off, unless you plan on chipping in on this light bill. 
They love to leave lights on. Don't have a dime. Oh. Okay, so. What? You better be sitting at that table somewhere, little girl. Don't be around here eating all over this doggone house. You know better. I'm just peeling garlic, y'all. Fussing at my cherry. Yeah, I think I'm a, um, not a think, I know. With these ham hocks and neck bones, I'm gonna cook them, cook them slow. What time is it? It's 1.14. I'm gonna cook them down real slow and make some um, rice and uh, probably some baked beans or something to go along with. What you need, son? What's the matter? Well, I just wanted to know that um, on my birthday, um, maybe um, you can um, maybe on my birthday we can have a um, I um. Uh, I thought you said you wanted transformers or something on your birthday. Get out of my pot! Don't be breathing all over my pot, boy. Uh, you better make tracks. Did you? I thought you said you wanted a transformer for your uh, birthday. Yeah. Okay. And I want some other stuff. What other stuff, son? Um, like... Y'all act like folks got money. All kind of money. You know I don't play that um, when it comes to money. I want a dog. That's not happening. On Christmas, I have one? No. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. We're not getting no dog. I'm talking about a baby one. It can be a baby dog. Uh, that's just my baby doggy. None of that. We're not getting none of that. Sorry. We're not getting no pets. We live in an apartment, son. I'm not doing that. You got to pay a deposit. All that kind of foolishness. I'm not doing that. Maybe one of these days, but not, not, not. How about, um, not right now. we can build a dog house, um, outside somewhere, and the dog can... And um, the dog can, um, and like, the, um, maybe sometimes it might want to go to the dog house. You have to have a house for that, son. Well, you can have a dog in an apartment, but I'm not doing all that because you have to pay a big old deposit and I'm not in their tax bracket. I can take good care of it. I can take it to the park. We'll see. I love you, son. Bye-bye. Can I go to the park? I love you. Bye-bye. Can I go to the park? So y'all know what he wants. Dog. We live in an apartment. And uh, they make you pay a two or three hundred dollar deposit for a dog. And like I tell my children all the time, y'all won't keep y'all's room clean. So how in the Sam thought that you're gonna have a dog that has to be walked and picked up behind and everything else, please. I wouldn't even put the dog through that. Anyway, here I am cutting up garlic. Is somebody jumping in my bed? Because I really thought that's what it looked like out the corner of my eye. Why y'all in there? You need to be folding them towels. Y'all sitting down watching TV, folding them towels. Sorry, y'all. My nose is itching. Whatever. I have to go to the store sometime today. Um, get some milk and um, a couple other things. This is the children's last week at school, which is an awesome thing for me. Because while they're out of school, it's a few things that I want to work on with them, you know. They might not think it's fun, but I think it's fun. Number one, we're gonna um, make yogurt. I have some videos that I looked at about making yogurt in a crock pot. You can make yogurt in a crock pot. 
and I've made blueberry sauce and raspberry sauce and some different jams and jellies that we can mix into the yogurt to sweeten it up. So we're gonna make um, yogurt. What's the matter, buddy? Um, Goodbye. Hi, your TV? Not right now. Not right now. Are you done with the video? Maybe. I have nothing to do. Uh, there are clothes that need to be folded. Get your clothes out for school tomorrow and go bathe. I'm going to, uh, we're gonna make yogurt gonna make bread um, loaf bread and yeast rolls we're gonna try to do our sourdough starter again That's the first time I tried to do sourdough starter it didn't do right or I didn't do right or something so we're gonna make bread we're gonna make rolls we're gonna make the yogurt and we're going to attempt to do our sourdough starter again. So that's going to be fun. And also, um, we're going to do uh, some marinated mushrooms. What I'm doing today, I'm pressure canning mushrooms with onion soup mix. But um, we're going to do some marinated Italian mushrooms. Like you put on salads and stuff like that. So that's going to be fun. What'd you do with your plate, Bert? Turn the garbage disposal on, sweetie pie. Turn it off. Stuff in my garbage disposal, y'all. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Right now, I gotta put the seat on. Let's see. Oh, I got it. Piece of garlic was in my garbage disposal. But I got okay, let me wash my hands. Put this food on the stove. Oh God, what are y'all cooking today? Y'all having a pork fest like me, or beef fest, or chicken fest, or fish fest, or vegetarian fest, something. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's gonna be very, very good. I'm still stacking up, y'all still um, trying to get all I can and can all I get because this uh, transformer variant is on the move and they got different countries locking people down they got germany got people on lockdown so as it goes in one country i'm sure it won't be long before it makes its way over here and uh i don't want to be caught on the way or so i'm definitely making provision I need to stack up on water, y'all. I don't have enough water. It's sad the amount of water I do not have. I gotta get on my water game. That's really sad. Well, I think I'm gonna throw a couple other seasons in here, y'all. Oh, I got my bananas that are going soft on me. I make banana bread sometime tonight, too. Or, yeah, sometime tonight I'll make banana. Just a touch of Lowry's. Cause that ham hock is already salty. So I'm put a touch of Lowry's. And Phoebe, give me a uh look in that pantry and give me an onion. I'm gonna put an onion in there. You just asked me that son and I said no. The answer hadn't changed in three minutes. Adios. Have you gotten your school clothes out for tomorrow like I told you? Okay, we'll go do that. <coughs> Where are the onions? They should be in that bowl sitting on that step stool. Hunt for onions. Yeah, you got to start stacking up if you haven't. I mean, it's it's like, it's a no-brainer now. You got to start doing it. Thank you, sweetie. Because uh, if 
not. Hmm, I don't know what to tell you. It's, gonna, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Okay, so think about it like that. Even if you prep a whole bunch of food and all kind of stuff, worst case scenario, you just have extra food. I mean, a best case scenario, I should say, you just have a bunch of extra food. You don't have to worry about buying it. Worst case scenario, uh, hmm. you have a bunch of food when it's none to buy. So that's just my thoughts on it. <laughs> so you got to really be mindful nowadays and not play around. And I have to keep saying, if you don't know how to can water bath, pressure can, because you're scared of it or whatever, I mean, please don't be. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I do it and I love it. And another thing, if people around you are saying, oh, that's just crazy, you got all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, whatever. Whatever, man, you can say it's crazy if you want to, I, you know. Whatever. I'd rather be crazy about that than crazy about a lot of other stuff. My daughter's giving me a note. Let me see. What, does, <laughs> what is this? Is this English? Yes. Or is this hieroglyphics? What does this say? What does this say? Who this stuff be so I can put this car up here? Oh, child, I need you to move this here. She said, hey, y'all, they said that's my son's Christmas list. I couldn't tell whether it was in English because, honey, child, that's a trip. I don't know why these children every year give me these big, elaborate, well, it's the younger ones that don't know. The older ones know better. To give me these elaborate um, Christmas lists I don't know what that says, sweetie pie. Because I don't, I, you know, I know some people might not agree, might get mad or whatever. I don't buy Christmas gifts. I don't. I don't buy them. I don't buy Christmas gifts. I don't buy a bunch of toys. I don't do that. I just don't. Because anybody that has children for any length of time knows these children do not. I mean, they don't. You, the more stuff you give them, the less they appreciate. They don't appreciate it when you get them 50,000 freaking toys and all that kind of stuff. Matter of fact, they get an entitlement spirit. And they think they're supposed to have all that stuff. Newsflash, they're not. So, you know what? I don't buy all that crap. I don't buy a bunch of toys. I don't buy Christmas gifts, period. Not even for my grandkids. And I love my grandkids dearly. But I ain't buying them no Christmas gifts. I'm not, I'm not that granny. I give them a little change for, you know, for birthdays, something like that. Whatever. If I've done that, I don't even know if I've done that. To tell you the truth, I don't want to lie. I just don't do that. I just don't buy a bunch of gifts and stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not into it. That's not me. Uh, uh, kind of, like, you know, when I was coming up, my mom used to always tell me, you know, somebody can give you a card that they've handwritten you know, from their heart, and that's more valuable than something that they just went out and spent money on. And that's so true. Of course, I thought she was a lunatic back then when she said it. But now, I know that that's so true. And I'd rather get a card from somebody. I'll keep a card from not to do that. If you ask me what some particular person bought me, I mean, it have to be something really special for me to try to, you know, I prefer something from the heart. And letter writing and get people stuff like that, it's a lost art. People don't even know how to write cursive. It's a shame. But that's the world we live in. Okay, don't write me no more lists of none of y'all shenanigans and tomfoolery, okay? Are you done with your video? No, I'm not. Okay, y'all, so now I'm fixing to start on this roast that I gotta inject.
Baby, give me that other thing like this out the uh, pantry. The other thing like this out the pantry. Can you tell me your channel that, that I said hi? Evangeline said hi, y'all. She was just chomping at the bit to say that. No. Did you see our other video guys about us doing butter? Make sure to watch the video. I don't know if I put that on there um, or not. It says, can I yeah, it's it. It says, um, shh. It says, can I take those Not right now. Don't ask me about That's another thing. These kids worry the you know what out of me. Go, all y'all, right now. About Roblox. Make sure to listen to the butter um, video. I have, to, I have to see if I can put that one on there, buddy. Go, yeah. go, go, go. I'm watching a butter video on YouTube one time. Go this way. Anyway. Watching it yesterday. I'll do it, I'll do it, because I got to get that other stuff out of there. Yeah, they worry the mess out of me about Roblox. I mean, I just, it's just ridiculous. I hate it. Just washing off my picnic. Phoebe, give me um, give me my black bird. What if I told you about holding the refrigerator open? Don't hold it open. Get what you gotta get and close it. Cut that pantry light out. Phoebe, give me that black roasting pan, please. Yeah, Roblox is it's, it's a trip. I hate it. They just obsessed with this bullshit. Y'all better not be watching that mess on my TV either. Hello. Earth to uh, sure who about to get in trouble. See? Yeah, they love to watch that foolishness. Is the dryer still going? Yes. Just set it up there. Okay. This is Tony Sastry's. I used this um during Thanksgiving for my turkey. Oh man, it, it made it come out so good. And what I did, y'all, no. those who can will understand. I took the leftover turkey, because we didn't eat that much of it, because we had a ham too. So I took the leftover turkey. And the same thumb did I put this thing on? Okay, there it goes. I think that's how it goes. Um, plus the broth, and I canned it. What else would I do with it? In years past, it would have just been wasted. Yeah. Not now. Waste not, want not. So we took that turkey. Well, I took the turkey. And, uh, all right in there. All right. It's because Emmett's, you know that, that horse that Farrah made? Emmett's trying to write Farrah's name. Do not touch that horse, Emmett. He's not, he's not touching the horse. He just took the box and was trying to write it. Name on it. Tell Phoebe to come put two capfuls of fabric softener. I'm just reading the directions on this show. Okay. Yeah, this is how I remember doing it. Phoebe. Phoebe. Oh, there you go. Put uh <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Put uh Two capfuls of fabric softener. Ooh, the stain. Ooh. This I need. I'm gonna have to wash again. Maybe. I'm just looking at my dishwasher. I got my jars in there for my mushrooms, so I had to run my dishwasher. Give me the trash camera. Okay, that's all right. I got a sweep. Huh? Oh, okay. What the heck? Okay. Oh, Lord. My nose is itching for some reason. Okay, I know that's not kosher, but my nose is itching. Look at all this. Rinse so this is going to dishwasher when I get through. I got my trusty antibacterial wipes. stuff. Okay. So I'm supposed to put the marinade in a separate bowl. But I, I know I'm going to use this whole thing, so that's really unnecessary. Because I'm going to use all of it. Okay. See how we 
do this with as little mess as possible. Just stick it in there, pull it up, get the juice, and start injecting. Man, it's gonna make this thing good. Ooh wee. And then I'ma um I'ma uh cut some spaces in it and I'ma stuff it with some garlic. And then I'ma uh after I stuff it with that garlic. Come on, baby. Uh oh, I got a spot that don't wanna give. Whole bunch of waste. After I stuff it with that garlic, I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna like wrap it all up with onions, and then put it in my um, black roasting pan, and do it like that. I'm gonna season it up too with some uh, different kind of seasonings. I got a garlic and herb seasoning. I think I'm gonna use. Just put this down in that bad boy. I'm just injecting it all over with this marinade. No particular rhyme or reason. I'm just putting it everywhere. I'm trying to, it's a fat cap on it. And it's kind of hard for me to get it in there, but I'm going to definitely try. There you go. I just, stab it but I got it in there. I'm gonna use the rest of them on it. That fat cap that I didn't get earlier. Okay I'm having to stab it to get it in that fat cap. Okay there we go. Oops. Tried to run out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Side. Well, I told y'all I wouldn't like to pour it in a bowl, but I don't know. I might have to. Just put, I'm just putting just a touch of water in there. Just to, I mean, literally a touch. To get out all the seasonings out the bottom. Okay. Ooh, we just thought going to be good. I love these injected injectables. Try to keep a couple of them on hand because they're so good. Not only for this stuff, for like chicken and you know poultry for um, you can even use them on beef, I suppose. But for this kind of stuff, it's super good. Mm -mm. I ran into a little resistance. There we go. Uh oh. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it? This is my big old black roasting pan. And this is the bad boy. left it's just a little bit I don't know if you can see it. it's just a little bit so I'm just gonna actually pour that on top okay put this bad boy in there bam pour the rest of that on top I put it where the fat cap is up so that way that, that can melt down in there and really keep it moist Gonna turn it over, cut some slits in there, put that garlic in there. Then I'm gonna put all that onion on there. Okay. Let me get my garlic. 
keep garlic in here. Oh, and this injectable thing, don't throw it away. You could use it later. If you make your own liquid seasonings. My hands are slippery, so this garlic is like not having it. Let me see if I can. I might have one that I already have. Oh, uh oh. Glad garlic, y'all. Sorry. This piece came loose. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Let me get open this. This one is actually cooperating. Hopefully. Oof. I see so many videos about people growing their own garlic too. I would love to do that. That's right here. What's the matter, Bert? Okay, no, I don't I don't want to hear that foolishness. Why are y'all talking about a Nintendo That's Switch? Why you're like drawing stuff with him because he's always saying bad things about it. Okay. I'm not I don't want to hear nothing about no Nintendo Switch or whatever else y'all talking about. Because that costs money, I'm sure. It does. It costs a lot of money, huh? I'm just stuffing this garlic in there, y'all. Make this slip a little bit bigger. the garlic a little bit smaller. Something got to be adjusted here. Okay. Let's put that right in there. Cut this one in half. Stuff that one in there. Okay. Yeah, now I had to I had to cut the garlic. It was too big. It wouldn't go in the slits. I'm just making random cuts to um, stuff that garlic in there. I just got another little piece right here. Put down in there. I don't know if anybody's watching this or if anybody will watch it, but if you do happen to, um, feel like it comment about what are you doing to prep I mean what are you doing to you know store stuff away for the future or are you even doing that I mean do you think it's even necessary I mean let me know I know I'm not alone in doing it but you know just as a FYI how many people are actually doing it. I know it's a lot. You know, it seems like it. But in reality, is it a lot? Or are people just kind of, you know, just kind of going with the flow and hoping things work out? It's never a good idea with anything. I'm going to put a few more pieces of garlic in here, y'all. Just to kind of give it a little kick. But this garlic is kicking my butt. I can't get the fucking garlic out of here. Oh, Lord, evidently I'm not doing something right. Because I know it ain't supposed to look like this. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, this is going to be my last piece because this garlic is... is uh, garlic is very resistant. I need to go back to garlic peeling 101 because this is uh, 
not working. I'm, it's, I'm peeling it, but I'm sure it's not the conventional way to do it. My daughter puts hers in a glass, in a jar or something, and shake it up till the peel comes off with it. Maybe my garlic was too big because I tried that and it didn't quite work out like that. Cut a slit down here at the bottom. Put some down there. Cut a piece on the side. This is a big old piece of garlic, so I'm able to cut it into several little pieces. These heads of garlic were huge. One at the top. That's gonna be it. Uh oh. That's gonna be it. Put okay. Oops. Okay. So now put my onion, Phoebe. Phoebe. Give me one more onion, sweetie pie. Give me one more onion, pretty please. like the the sazon seasoning sprinkle a little bit of that on there rub that in on both sides Whoa, okay. this thing is heavy it's big rub a little that Sazon seasoning on both sides all over. Just to give it a little off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna do it. Between that Tony Sacheries and this Sazon seasoning and that garlic and that onion I'm finna wrap it in. Oh yeah. This bad boy gonna be something else. It's going to be extremely tender and moist because it's got that big old fat cap on top. And that's going to just melt down. Okay, so now I'm going to put my other onion in there. I'm just going to wrap it up in that onion. I might have to use two because this thing is huge. Might have to use two. I'll see. gonna lay that onion on top of there no. to where it's basically just covered with onion and that's another thing that's gonna keep it moist yeah I'm probably going to use two I'd have to cut these really extremely thin not to use two and I don't want to do that I want the onions to be kind of medium bird Bring me an onion out that pantry, please, ma'am. An onion. onion. I want this thing to be covered. We're going to be Shrek today. Oh, Shrek likes onions? He eats them by itself. 
Oh my. My daughter just told me we're gonna be Shrek, because Shrek eats onions by himself. Yeah, give me one. Uh, yeah. He eats it like this with this thing so it's like it, he eats it like an apple. Oh. I don't think we're gonna be doing that no time soon. I hope not at least. See she says Shrek eats onions like an apple. So if that's what floats his boat. If that's what floats Shrek's boat, well then whatever. Hope he's storing some up for later. Oh, these onions are little. Good gravy. Well, but these two little ones will do. They're gonna have to do. I cut that one kind of thick. Cut that one in half. trying to fall. They sliding off because of that uh, injection and because of that seasoning, but I'm putting them on there with them. Stay right on there. And just cook down and flavor this fat as it melts. Ooh -wee. I wish y'all could smell this thing. It smells so good. Between this garlic and herb injection, and that seasoning, and then these onions, and then that garlic I stuffed in there. Oh, man, this thing smells good. Okay, what's that? I don't think it that far. Some of mine fell in there, like I said. Okay. Okay, so now, oven. I'm just going to bake it normal, 350. Don't know how long. I'm going to bake it till it's done. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven. I got to take out my big old wok. This is my big old wok, y'all. I got this thing at the thrift store, one of our little local thrift stores. I don't think I paid five dollars for it, and this thing is amazing. It's huge. It's a big old wok. See that? And it came with a top. It's fantastic. And it has a wooden handle, so it doesn't. When I touch it, I don't have to worry about it burning. Okay. Putting this bad boy in the oven. I forgot to turn my oven on and preheat it, but that's alright. That's okay. I got this thing on this one that like to act a fool. I don't know why. I'm putting it on now, but I'm, it's the big burner, so I was hoping it wouldn't climb today, but it is. Maybe it'll go on and act right. Or maybe not. This is my mushrooms. This is my big old strainer full of mushrooms that I have to can today, y'all. For all mushrooms. I'll get to them in a minute. I just want to get this other stuff on first. This the burn I gotta play with because it's crazy. I'm just standing here hoping that it comes on. Oh Lord, this thing makes me mad. Okay, 
messed that one, which I knew. I'm trying to be patient with the burner, y'all. It's crazy. This is why I long for the day that I have a gas stove. I'm telling you. Now it's heating up. Which the thing about it, it'll heat up. But as soon as you put a pot on there, any kind of weight at all, bam, it's over. It'll just cut off. So, we'll see how it goes. And I'm putting my um, neck bones and ham hocks on there, so I'm hoping it'll act right. Okay. Now I'm just cleaning up, y'all. Just taking all this stuff. Putting it in the trash. Okay. All the onion skins and garlic skins. And they say you can save the onion skins and stuff to make broth. Which I probably will do one day, but not today. Not today. I'd rather just get a bunch of onions and garlic and... I don't know why I just did that. A bunch of onions and garlic and bell pepper and... Boil them up and make broth like that. Okay. Just clean all this up, y'all. And now I can start on these mushrooms because um, my dishwasher just finished. So my jars are ready. And I can start on these mushrooms. I'm trying to get this stuff done early because I have to comb two of my daughter's hair today. And uh, that's going to take time. Hopefully I'll be able to get, that, get their hair combed once I get these mushrooms on. Get them up to pressure and stuff, then I'll start on their hair. I got a bucket over there that I put all my white stuff in. And I just wash, I just threw that towel over there. Get my trusty antibacterial wipes. Clean everything down. This is my last one. Oh, look like my burner is on, y'all. Woo! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, let's see. Looks like it's staying on, I should say. But like I said, it'll come on with no problem. Stay on. I said after today, because like I said, I got to do those blackberries. And, um, what else I got in there? Oh. I'm just canning blackberries whole. I'm not cooking them up and doing nope, not doing all that today. I'm canning them whole in a simple syrup. I'm doing the spice apple rings. And uh, tomorrow sometime, I'm going to can the sweet potatoes. And after that, I'm, it's, it's a wrap. As far as pressure canning goes. And I'll probably be water bath canning you know, all the time. But as far as pressure canning goes, these um hey sweet pie here i'll put this back in the uh, pantry please the potatoes the sweet potatoes and the mushrooms is the last thing i'm pressure canning for a minute now, like i said i will be water bath canning especially if i catch mushrooms cheap or or uh very cheap what is it sweet pie throw this away please huh The who baby case? Oh yeah, I got it. She wants me to can whole cherries. So I gotta get some cherries. Because she wants me to do that and she wants me to make a video about us canning. What the world? About us canning whole cherries. So but like I said, that's a water bath thing. So that's no problem. Okay. I gotta get enough on the inside of the fuel. Hold on, y'all. Oh, 
Okay, here's another one. I keep them. I keep these things stocked up. Let me get one out of this little thing here. Because I'm always wiping something down off some kid. And wasted something or did something. Just when these things first come out, it's a mess. Oh my god. One thing I hate when they first come out, it's hard to get them out. Whatever. So that's that. I'm just gonna wipe this sink out of here. <laughs> While it um seasoning was. Okay. Now I get my paint drawers out for the um mushrooms. Okay, I'm just wiping all this stuff down. For some reason, my children love this Michael Jackson song. I always feel like somebody's watching me, which they probably are. So that's playing in the background. Okay. So that's that. Let me get a towel and dry this stuff off. I gotta use a towel because I got my phone resting against the paper towels. I'm scared if I move, it's gonna screw up the whole thing. Hold on, let me just do this. I have to move these. I have to move these on the apples.